I would say this is one of the nicest KOAs I've ever been in. Now, there's a whole bunch more. We're on that other side. Over there where you see that cabin and those other RVs, there's a whole other side that goes way over back through there. And they've got rustic cabins and they've got really nice cabins and bungalows and whatnot. And then this is the uh, side where the office area is. And this is RVs. I think they got a big, uh, what do they call it? A big tent over there. A ute. I think it's kind of hard to see from this side, I think. Oh, there it is over there. You see it back there. I think that's what they call them. Way back over there, that area. But here they got a couple pools. They've got a hot tub area. Just a beautiful little place. Out in the middle of nowhere. I mean, there's this farmland. Probably in a 10 mile radius of this place. It's just nothing but open field farmland. It's, uh, I mean, it's not like in a city or it's close to Mansfield. I think we're like 16 miles from Mansfield, Ohio. I'll show you this area here. Look at that. A hot tub. Um, bathroom. Our bathrooms are right across the street from, from our cabin that we're renting. We have a rustic cabin. It was 240 for three nights. So that's 80 bucks a night. And it's just like a hotel room. It's got a really nice comfortable bed. It's got a bunk bed. I think I'll show some pictures of that with this video. But all in all, if you're coming to Ohio anywhere near here, uh, the movie Shawshank Redemption was filmed just a, about 18 miles from here. So there's that. If you're a fan, you could come down and Spend some time here, bring your RV. They have uh, camping sites where you can camp. A little lake over here with boats. You see all that? Apparently it was owned by a husband and wife. The wife recently passed away, I guess Memorial Day weekend. And the husband uh, runs it by himself now. But I mean, just a well-thought-out little place. I've been to a lot of KOAs, and this is by far the nicest one I've ever been to. Definitely give it a five. They have coffee. I mean, I've, I've had a Keurig in the, in, in the cabin, and refrigerator, and microwave. I mean, just like a hotel room, except it didn't have a bathroom, but the bathroom is literally 30 feet away across the street. And it's nice, very clean, well-maintained. They have events all the time for the kids. More of it right there. It's a lovely little place. Like that. All right, well, I'm just waiting for the restaurant to open so I can get breakfast. They have a decent little restaurant, of course, and a big store, like most of them. But uh, this is all privately owned. That's a really uh, remarkable, actually. You would think it would be some kind of franchise. Well, I guess it is a franchise, but some kind of corporate-owned kind of thing. But very well done. It was worth the stay for us to, to come here. A little far from our destination yesterday... But uh, all in all, uh, it wasn't too bad. We did a 380-mile ride yesterday. Went down to Athens, rode some of the Windy Nine. Actually, it was kind of surprising. It was, it was like being in Tennessee. Some of the roads we were on, some of the mountains we rode through. I was quite surprised that Southern Ohio was uh, so much different than when I think of Toledo when I think of Ohio, being from Michigan. But uh, this has been a, a very nice little experience. I would say that uh, I'm surprised. I would come here again. Without a doubt, I'd plan, a, I'd plan a, a, a package event, come down here, bring some friends, and spend three or four days riding around the area. Yeah, with the cornfields back there. That's what I mean. We're literally... <laughs> we're literally surrounded by 
by farms and cornfields. <laughs> so. All right, everybody. Well, thanks for watching my video. It's the uh, KOA of uh, Mansfield. Okay, so here's uh, part two. Now there's the, uh, the swimming pool area right there that I showed you a minute ago. And there's the main office area. We walked through all that. There's the pavilion. So now we're gonna go over to where we're at. And we have this area here to see all of this. I mean, it's uh, it's laid out nicely. I mean, it's, it's kind of like a, it's kind of like a, an amusement park kind of um, way it's been laid out. It's been very well put together. Nothing seems to be clunked down or kind of out of place for where it is. It all seems to be master planned, so to speak. Now the lodge. And everything is just so well maintained. I mean, the staff really has to be congratulated. They really do uh, seem to care, you know. And every one of the cabins have really nice Weber barbecue grills. I was surprised. Every one of them, and I actually own it. I actually own the same one. So just a few more feed here, but just to give you an idea of the way the place looks. And these are real cabins too. These aren't these aren't like trailers. We stayed at one near King's Dominion last year. And all of the cabins were actually trailers. They were built on a trailer platform and just wheeled into place. But as far as I can tell, these were all built. I might be mistaken, but I know the one we're in is definitely has been built by hand. So that's, my, that's probably a trailer style right there. They're pre-built. We're almost there. I like how the cabins are kind of scattered in with the uh, with the RVs. So there's the big shower area for this this area here with the bathrooms, and then of course right there where the bikes are is our cabin. So getting a rustic cabin. I mean, wasn't really a drawback because, I mean, that's like twice as far as I walk in my house to go to the bathroom. <laughs> and there's a camp kitchen over here, which is an area where you can wash dishes. And uh, it's got a, uh, a stove as well if you want to actually cook something right there. And then more, uh, these are rustic campsites where you can tent. So there you go, the tour is complete. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it. Again, it's the Shelby Mansfield KOA in uh, just outside of Mansfield, Ohio. Thanks everybody.